You know, I still love how gorgeous this place still looks. I mean, yes, you still do. Gotta admit, this attention to detail is amazing. Anyway, I'm Dragon King Mark, and welcome to part two of Shantae Half Genie Hero. That's what I thought. Well, we started off the game, and we were able to defeat Risky Boots, get the blueprint back from the for Uncle Mimic's Dynamo, and basically, you know, basic genie stuff. Also, we got fired again by the mayor, but what else is going to happen a lot? Now, one more. Wow, first we are already. Hello, viewer. Now, before I begin, I kind of have a bit of a confession to make. Yesterday, I usually post journals on my Fur Affinity and my DeviantArt about when I'm streaming. I forgot to do that, so yeah. My bad. Anyway, here we are about, we're going to talk to this girl here. Looks like she's in trouble. Uh, It's terrible! Ugh, I know. It's slow. Someone please help me! All the young maidens from my village! They disappeared! Oh boy. Let's hope this isn't a vampire thing, otherwise we're not gonna be happy with it. I heard that a guardian genie lives in this town. You must be her! Please, will you help my village? Sure. Count on it. Oh, thank you, thank you! Here's about the Mermaid Falls. We got the Mermaid Falls map. You need to fly there and quickly before more young maidens vanish. Okay, so it's not vampires. I was gonna say this is gonna be rehashing Dragon's Crown a bit with that one quest. But other than that, let's go to Sky. This is a map to Mermaid Falls. Are you going there? Looks that way. We'll be ca well, be careful. Mermaids around those parts can be very dangerous. Especially the saltwater variety. That's racist. They won't get the drop on me. After all, I'm this town's guardian G- Hold it. Oh no. I'd like to introduce you to someone. Hello, who are you? Oh, you don't know? I'm your replacement, of course. Holly Lingerbean, half genie hero for hire. I wonder if she's a Kickstarter character. But you can call me Holly. Your mom was a genie? That's right. And my dad was a stage magician. So I'm more magical than any other half genie by far. Ha! Huh? Babies don't work that way. It's true. She stole my nose and removed her own thumb while I watched. You have a nose? As our old guardian genie, I'd like you to show her the ropes. Me? No big whoop, Mayor. I'm sure I'll just be fine without her. I already don't like her. I can't believe he actually did it! I know! Usually he's just soaking around on a beach chair giving us f We have to give him food to give him cash. That's a reference to the second game. Now hold on. He replaced me with that snotty little... I don't know, you don't have to get all competitive. Besides, you're on a mission, remember? I guess you're right. Okay then, off to Mermaid Falls. Are you ready to lift off? Yes. Okay, climb aboard. Now, I know that girl said we don't we don't have much time, but we can at least do a little sidetracking. Because... Well, Mermaid Falls, here we are. But let's head back to Main Street for a sec. I gotta take care of something. When you, this is basically a bit like a Metroidvania in which you get your new powers, you go back to old locations and stuff. Plus, I also kind of want to listen to Neo Burning Town again. So yeah, I apologize for yesterday for not putting out a... 
uh, video yes the other day about um a not a video a journal the other day about uh yeah a journal about Shante but now that we have the monkey power up this is gonna be really useful for us because this means we can platform a lot better now. Okay, still can't hit that. I will get you one day, guy. I can't ever get this. Now, if you fall into water, you will indeed get de-transformed, unless you're a specific type of transformation. What transformation am I talking about? I will get into that later. But, one useful thing about Monkey, you can just do this. Yoink. Now, what am I going backtracking here for? Well, a few things, actually. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna mention there's a uh, starfish underwater too. There's actually a few different things, but the reason being is that it's a lot like Metroidvania. If you go back to an area that you already have completed with new power ups, you can't actually get some cool unlockables. So, what's it to unlock? Remember that woman that we found, that we saw earlier but we couldn't get to? Well, we can finally get to her now. We got a quest we gotta do and we can get some pretty good rewards. That, and with the monkey power up we can actually get something cool here. Transform. You'd think they would have repaired Main Street by now. So... So, how about that Samurai Jack last night? Oh, here we are. Let's talk about that first. Hey, uh, long time no see. I recently opened a restaurant right here on Main Street, but wouldn't you know it, it's opening day and I've already got a pirate infestation. Unless someone gets rid of them, I can't renew my health permit. Would you say the 30 pirates hiding in my restaurant? It's right over there, the building with the three large windows. Well, you can't let a good restaurant tour not get not be able to renew her health permit. I know that. I can kind of, well, I can't really relate, but I know what it's like to need to renew health insurance. Okay, granted, I don't really know because of the fact that I don't have. I mean, I have health insurance, but I'm still covered until I hit 26. After that, then I'm screwed. But this is one of the things I was talking about. Here. Monkey bullet. And this does what it does. Come to the wall, look, hold down square, and boom. We can now shoot. We can also damage enemies in this one too. This is what I meant. Whenever you go back to a new area, you always need to come back to the old areas just to get more loot. And collectibles. It's always nice to get collectibles. Hmm. What was up here again? Since we're here, this is also a little good farming spot. Pirates defeated. One, two, three. So yeah, going back to what I said. Who here saw the final the finale of Samurai Jack last night? I know I did. All I can just say is honestly, there's a lot of mixed feelings with that. I mean, they opened up with everyone from the entire series. Like seeing Aku's little um little uh, opening. And how did they open it up? With the original opening. Oh for me. They opened up with the original opening from the from the first old series. That shows that they really appreciated Mako. The Scotsman and his kid and his kids. And well him reuniting with Jack, that was just that was just adorable. But having like the Scotsman reuniting with his kids and reuniting with the kids and stuff, it, it was just cool. And then the Spartans 
I'm like, holy crap! But let's get back to her. Let's going off up top. Let's get this health permit back. Oh, is that a shiny new health permit? Yep. Oh, thank goodness. I'm back in business, baby. Here, I want you to have this. You got a salted caramel. While studying the culinary arts abroad, I came up with my own spin on salted caramel. I call it caramel la pupa in honor of my dog, Wobble Bell. It's candy for dogs. Now, this might sound weird. Why do we need that salted caramel again? Trust me. But since we already took care of that, let's head back to let's head back to the wood select. Now you're wondering, why on earth am I? Why on earth am I like doing this backtracking thing? Should I take care of this off screen? I just figured you might as well know where the supplies and stuff are. That, and I also want to show you this. Once so, you know, I take care of these pots. Destroy all the pots. That's what Zelda taught me. But there's a reason. Aside from going back to getting supplies and stuff. Yeah, we know we're gonna go to Mermaid Falls. There's this. Oh, right, never mind. I have full health. But yeah, going back to what I said about Samurai Jack. That was just amazing how they basically brought everyone back. Uh, let's go with... Hmm. Yeah, let's just go with some of these powers. Backdash and Metronome. Oh, right, I need 50. Why am I getting those powers, you might ask? Well, Storm Plus is pretty much kind of useless. Useful for, for exchanging, but I'll get onto that later. But going back to what I said about Jack. This was the greatest, this was like one of the best finales. Granted, it felt rushed, and I will agree it was rushed, but it really closed off a lot of things. First, let's go to Mermaid Falls. I'll get into my deliberation about this later. Yes, yeah, save my game. How did? Looks like this is the place. For the last time, Bolo, I can handle this on my own. That's what, not what your uncle said. He insisted that I lend you a hand until he could create a machine to replace you. Uh, fine, let's get down to business. According to the girl back in Skeletown, locals have been vanishing from these parts of the dozens. One minute they're here, then the next, poof! Gone without a trace. Gone. Gone how? Well, given the surroundings, I think it's pretty obvious who's to blame for this. The answer is... Fish folk! Shh. I've read that mermaids are beautiful but often vain. And all of the targets have been sweet, innocent, adorable maidens. It must be a jealousy thing. That means I could be next! What? Uh, not really. Maidens are, you know, ladies only. There you go again! What? Leaving me out like you always do. I mess up one delivery and suddenly I'm useless. But, huh? Ever since we were kids, you get to be the hero and I'm always the goof up. We really need to get a backstory with these two. Well, I'm sick of barfing in your shadow. I'm gonna prove once and for all that I'm every bit the hero you are. Barfing in your shadow? Bolo, come back! That's not even a co co Ah, uh, damn what. You will last five minutes! Ignore my dogs. Okay, flower, make a none of that. Now, what I was saying about Jack. I love how they ended off the series on a bit of a high note. And here's our first encounter with a mermaid. 
I wish we had that magic armor to decrease our damage by half. Now, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Like, a lot of people say that the ending was rushed, and I can really agree. It was, it felt rushed. And yes, they had it in 10 episodes. Honestly, I thought it was going to be, uh, 13. I thought they said it was 13 episodes, actually. Can I just say first off how the music it great the music is? It's like that a sunny morning vibe, but as you can see. Yep, now that we got magic, we can actually use it. But there is a reason why I chose some of these powers. Is that you can trade them later on for better ones. Or more powerful ones later. Really, uh, smudge out for that. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering exactly what the heck is, uh... Like... I mean, really for me, when they introduced Ashi, and I know that she was literally a daughter of Aku, but how they ended off the series, I mean, yes. She was ba I just felt that she was either, maybe something like a deus ex machina, like with her power she could easily- she could have all of Aku's abilities, that meant that basically she could send Jack into the past. I mean I didn't think about it until like last night when I realized it, but many people were theorizing that Jack would sacrifice the chance to go home to save Ashi, but- or that you know Jack was gonna die, but at the same time we know Jack, know he did. And seeing him finally return home, and finally end... Je end Aku, that was just the icing on the cake. Yes, I know, it's the whole happy-go-lucky, feel-good moment. Oh crap. The Maidens, let's go. Protect the woman! I'm gonna get so flame for that. Now, there is actually an achievement for not getting caught by any of these, uh... By any of the lizards. Damn it! Ow. Ah! Well, look, I'm not getting that achievement this run. I know, there was an achievement you can get for... You know, not getting detected at all on this level. And there is possible, you just gotta be really careful. Yeah, I mean, I think we all knew for a fact Ashi wasn't gonna make it because of, you know, no Aku, no Ashi. But I'm really glad that they decided to end off the way it did. I mean, yeah, she died and it was like on her their wedding day too, but... Yeah, it sucked, but at the same time, Jack finally was able to go home. He was finally able to get what he wanted. Alright, hang on. Oh crap, that was so close. Okay, be careful about... Sweet. Oh, giant jar. Ah! Yeah, never mind. I wasn't pretty much gonna get that achievement anyway. Hey, I think I see Bolo.
Now, trying to get an achievement of getting through this entire area you know, without getting caught is going to be a bit tricky, coming from the fact that... Now, really, it's just an achievement you can get. It's fairly difficult, but a couple of tries and you can get this done. And I died. Well, that's my first game over. I never got a game over. I actually was flawless on my Wii U run. I think we can try again. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people have their own opinions about how the game ended. I mean, personally, I felt that, I mean, not, not the game, the show ended. Personally, I felt that it was a good way to end off the series. I mean, yes, Jack lost Ashi in the same vein that Simo lost Nia from Girl and Lagan. I mean, they pulled a fucking Nia. Nice. You know, if you really put your time to it, this can actually be done pretty fast. I think you see in the back, I think if you look closely in the background, you can actually see Bolo being tangled with a fish. However, as we got to the ending. Part two. Okay, this is gonna be a lot. This is a lot more tougher than I'm making it out to be. I think it's because I'm trying to get that achievement. But I mean, it, yes, I'm an achievement hunter, and that trophy sure can be easily get. But at the same time, maybe this is also me trying to make up for the fact that I missed out on that journal end. Yesterday. Well, screw that achievement. It's now I can fully focus on getting out of here fast. If you're trying to speed run this, I'd recommend like getting that achievement later. Like I recommend not going for the achievement then, if that's the case. Coming from the fact that literally this achievement is difficult to get. Like, you need to sneak by here without them catching you. Is it possible? Uh, kinda. I mean, it's difficult as heck, but at the same time, I think it might be possible. Not killing me this time. Alright, I forgot about this part. We're basically playing Metal Gear Shante. Screw it. Now this is what I meant. A customer, you rang? I specialize in teaching the only only the most magical of dance moves. All that's great stuff from here. Very useful. No duds. Now, here you can trade some of these. You can get the Dryad Dance, Obliterate, Revive Dance, Warp Dance, if you didn't get it already. Let's trade Blob Obliterate Dance for the Blobfish. I don't have Obliterate. Now, if you didn't get the da any of the dances already, you can't actually get this, but let's get the Dryad one. Not selling you snake oil. <laughs> See you later. Oh no. Wait, those are canisters. Now here's another achievement you can get here. Don't die. <laughs> you gotta avoid these. But yeah. No! 
Yeah, this is gonna take you a couple of tries to get used to. I know it did for me. Am I naturally this? Am I naturally good at this game? Uh, I'd say maybe a 50-50. I'm good at puzzle platformers and stuff, just not this good. All oh, right, oranges. Basically, if you want to restore your health. Basically, you can get food in this game that'll be really helpful later on to, uh... Oh! Yeah, this is gonna be a long one. Yeah, watch out, especially for these. They just come out of nowhere. Whoa! Oh crap, here we go again. Whoa. I forgot how intense this was. Two! Yeah, don't be afraid to, you know, like, use a health thing if you need to. Like, what am I about to do? Whoa! Ah, well there goes that achievement! It's doing so good. I think it's don't get hit by anything while you're doing this. I dare you to try this on hero mode. Whoosh! Bolo, quit messing up. What were you doing in a canister? Uh, those were the missing maidens, but... Now they've been turned into... Yeah. Don't you see what's going on here? Someone's been turning regular old fox standard cute girls into funny fish folk. Oh, that's just being rude. Not everyone's a half genie like you, sweetie. Thanks! Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Disgusting, all right. I don't think that's what he meant, Shante. Hmm. So the fake mermaids are stealing the cans, go down the chute, and wind up here. But why? Who's behind all this? We're about to find out in three, two, bingo! Techno Baron! Meet Techno Baron! One of the four barons of Sequin Land. There's Ammo Baron, Hypno Baron, Squid Baron, and this guy. Ah! Lost count again! Who disturbs my concentration? Okay, I'm gonna admit this right now. I can picture the guy who voiced Invader Zim voicing this guy if they ever made a cartoon. I did. I saw your counterfeit mermaid factory in the fake mermaids. And now I'm sending you up the river, just like your giant cans. Which I'm also kicking you in. Yeah. How did you get past my techno grunts? No matter. You'll never leave this place alive. Have fun sleeping with the fishes! <laughs> what did he mean by- BIG MERMAID! Whoa. Holy mackerel! No wonder the mermaids are attacking! He's captured their queen! I gotta set her free! Giga Mermaid! Captivating Cactive. You got that right. Yep. So, we gotta take out these locks. And watch out. Because you're probably gonna get blasted by... Oh no. No, 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 no. I'm trying to help you. Don't make me kill you. Uh, no, I don't want to use the- I don't want to use that yet. This is where monkey da dance becomes very effective here. Oh lord. If I had that magic armor, I would be taking half damage. Don't worry, Giga Mermaid, we're gonna save you. Wow. 
There's a lot of combustible stuff in this game. Be free! Sweet. You're safe now. Or not! Uh oh. She looks mad. Round two! Yeah, Giga Mermaid's mad. Now you'll suddenly see why I chose to bring up my uh, spells. Actually, I didn't bring any spells, so I had to do this the hard way. And trust me, the hard way is difficult. Okay, this was easy. So basically, throw out for attacks, and she'll use lightning, and then boom. You just gotta use your fire attack, and boom, you got this. Pretty simple, really. Oh, cool, we see the others. Techno Baron, you sick, sick fiend. You were selling fake mermaids as canned monster chow? Oh. Hey, we all gotta eat. Sales were high and supplies were low. What else am I supposed to do? Leave money lying on the table? I ran out of legit mermaids after my orders were filled. Oh my god. I just needed a few shipments of B-grade products to help bridge the gap, that's all. It's just good business. It's genocide. You literally just genocide, nearly genocided an entire species just for food. There's a bit of an environmentalism in here. I'll give you the business. Nice. Oh, she's back. She's smiling. So the mermaids weren't behind this after all. Uh, I guess uh, you owe an apology. It was wrong for I me mean, to jump to conclusions. I hope you'll accept my apology. Apology accepted. Oh, I was talking to them, not you. Anyway, I hope we can be friends from now on. Now let's get these girls back home. Jante, considering how she's smiling right now, I'm gonna say she's saying yes. It's kind of a shame, really. I mean, she's one of the more popular characters in the game, and she's just a boss. She was one of the prom promo bosses for the demo and stuff, and a lot of people love her. There's fan art of her. Makes me wish we could see more. But, this is vile and vain. I'm never gonna get enough of that smile. We need to get. I hope we get to see more of her in the other in the other games. Daughter of the genies, welcome to the genie realm. Take the transformation and enter the light. We get our first water power up, people. Crab dance. And yep, we can use this to go underwater. Have our shell active so we can. Use defense, but we're kind of slow on downtake. Now, there is a better power you can get that's called Mermaid. I highly, highly recommend you get this. But there's also another power you can get. When you're near a waterfall, you press up as Crab or Mermaid, you actually can go up it. I didn't know that until, you know, I looked up a video. If I had known about it, it would have been a lot easier. I'm glad to hear you were able to set things right. Yep. All the mains will return home safe and sound. And every last mermaid too! Don't forget about them! So... How's your dynamo coming along, Uncle? Well, the basics are all here. But according to my blueprints, I'm still missing four components, starting with the copper wiring. I can fashion my own wire, but to do that, I need a piece of copper ore. No problem, I'll go find some for you, Uncle. Atta girl. Now where am I gonna find copper ore? That is a good question. Until then though, I think that's gonna be enough for today. I'm Dragon King Mark, and next time on Shantae Half Genie Hero, we're gonna find some copper ore and maybe learn a bit more about what's going maybe learn a bit more about going to maybe the next area or backtracking a bit. Until then, like, favorite, subscribe, check out my YouTube where part two will be uploaded, and I will see you guys next time. And let us.